Hi everyone. So this time, or once again, I have a massive Dollar Tree haul. I was able to go to a Dollar Tree that I've never gone to before. This is out in Millington, Tennessee. Uh, if, fun fact, Millington is where Justin Timberlake is from. <laughs> um, I used to live in Millington, actually I used to live on the Naval Base. But um, yeah, so go, let's go ahead and get started. Um, now I didn't pick all of this up from there. Um, I picked it up from the other locations that are close by me. So first thing we got here um, are two books. They're the same book. Um, How to Make Jewelry Charms from Polymer Clay. I picked two of them up because I plan on giving one of them to my one of my good friends, um, Clarissa, her daughter, uh, Leela, who is going off to college. And she does like making... Um, stuff out of polymer clay I believe right Clarissa so I'm gonna send her one um, while she's in college so she's got something to do when she's not studying um, I picked this book up I actually picked these two up yesterday so this is the mood guide to fabric and fashion now if you watch project one runway in the past mood is the f uh, fabric store that all the students go to and I just love the color um, it's a really nice book. The paper's really nice. I don't plan on probably doing anything with it, but I do like to. I'm curious. I just want to read about the fabric. So let's see. I picked this lotion up. I've always seen it around. My coworker had one on her desk and I tried it out and fell in love with it because it's mint eucalyptus, which is a scent that I absolutely love. So this one I got from a previous haul, but I forgot to show it. It's the mixing tool. Um, I thought this was going to be like a softer cup, but it's not. It's just hard plastic. Same thing with these. Uh, I just figure it would come in handy. So I just went ahead and got it. Um, I picked this up right here. Uh, these heart ephemeras um, because I do need... Um, I don't think I've ever picked this one up and I figure it would be good to use because I did use it with um, this tag that I made um, this week, this past week. There's the other heart. It was more of like a mixed media type of um, heart and I think I know I've picked up more than that. Got this one, um, the spring one. I don't think I've picked that one up before. I found uh, this one right here. Uh, these look like, you know, the um, prize buttons. I could have sworn I picked this up before and I probably have, but I picked one up anyways because I still need to finish 4th of July in my Hobonichi. Um, I also got this calendar that I'm going to put over on my um, cubicle wall. Um, I just thought that this was really pretty farmer's market. It starts in um, August. So as you can see, I just love the way that the this looks, the illustrations. So got that. Um, what else here? I have so much stuff. <laughs> so please excuse the rustling of the bags. I picked up more of these stamps because I'm going to include this in my giveaway. Um, to all of my new subscribers, hi, and thank you for subscribing. Um, I think I'm, I'm definitely going to do a um, giveaway. It, when I reach 500 so this is just some of the stuff and it's gonna be a pretty big giveaway so yeah picked all those up um, put that aside because I want to show those all together got these thicker or rather bigger craft sticks because I know that my nieces were saying that they had used up all the ones that they had and so I'm gonna give those to them the next time I see them I actually haven't seen them for a couple weeks now I normally Sorry, I'm just moving the chair. I normally see them every weekend, but it's been, they've been busy with the summer camp. Okay. Um, I got this. This is the Garnier Shine and Hold Liquid Pomade. I have short hair, like pixie cut style hair, and I like using these type of products on my hair. So I only got one because I don't know how that's going to work out. Um, I picked up these two for my other niece. Um, her name is... Lily, I'm sorry, I had to think there because the other one is Lowen. So um, she's into makeup right now. She is turning seven, six. She's turning six, I think, in October. And you know, this is like the mood changing lip balm. So ooh, it's like lipstick. You know, she'll be so so excited. 
Um, I've also got her this little unicorn pouch, so it's her makeup bag. Um, and then I picked this up for her too, clips, uh, catacorn, because giving this one to her baby sister and she'll get jealous and want to use it. So I got her her own. So there's no, you know, taking from her sister. Um, I picked up this one up also for her because she needs, um, scissors. No, her sister, her baby sister is going to need scissors because she's going to be starting, um, daycare and, um, what is this? She's turning, she's already turned three. So, you know, it's about time she starts learning how to use scissors, not for cutting hair. Um, I also got these, um, now I've always had problems with using these because I have a wide foot, but they look promising for one, they have that gel in the back there, gel tab, so it should keep it from, um, from slipping. So I'm gonna give this a go. It was only a dollar and you get two pairs. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna give this to my mom. I don't know if she's seen these over at Dollar Tree, but it's a multi-purpose bandana. Um, this is something that she could use maybe in the garden. Let's see. I picked up this um, Arm & Hammer Ultra Max deodorant. I've, I was watching Coupon Girl, I can't remember. Uh, she is a YouTuber who lives um, in East Tennessee, does a lot of Dollar Tree hauls, and she was mentioning how she works in construction and she actually uses men's deodorant. Well, I mean, I don't blame her. She's working outside and, you know, sweating a lot. So probably the men's would work good, but I was kind of thinking about maybe trying that because um, I think my body chemistry is starting to get used to the deodorant that I use, which is the degree for women. Um, I got some more of the Haichu. This one is sour and sweet. I know I have another bag. Here it is. I was laughing because I just noticed that I was picking up everything in twos. Um, I got these water brush pens for my niece because she likes art, um, the oldest niece. I also got these two. I haven't seen these at my other Dollar Trees. This is the one in Millington, so I'm gonna give this these two to my nieces because they are still into Barbies and I will encourage that. Um, I found more of the Hershey's lip balm and this one is s'mores flavored. I don't know why I did that. Okay, there we go. S'mores flavored so that now I can give one each to those nieces. Actually, no, I picked up three so I can give one to um, Lily. Uh, I got these two washies. Oh my God, why am I buying more washi from Dollar Tree? As if I need it. But they were just, just too cute. You know, this one right here with the little characters. And then this one was kind of like a, a I don't know, celestial theme. Um, what else? I picked this up. Now, I, you know, I noticed that a lot of people are able to haul a lot of hard candy stuff from Dollar Tree, but my Dollar Trees don't seem to be getting them. They're definitely not getting like all of those eyeshadow palettes that everyone keeps getting, which I would love to buy to give to my nieces because they're just so into makeup and it cracks me up to see them when they, you know, put it on and they look like painted ladies of the night. <laughs> but anyways, um, this one is actually for me. This is a color correct, um, Cushion Wonder. It's supposed to correct dullness, neutralize. This is yellow. Uh, Should have got one that was green, but I don't think they had one that's in, that was in green. But I'll give it a go, anyways. Um, I don't really have the problem with yellow. I'm tan, um, being that I'm Asian and Filipino. Uh, but my face does get red. So I got this refresh. Um, these are the uh, car clips you stick in your. Um, the vents. I'm going to put one in my car. I've been looking for this because I have the actual um, oil diffusers, but I needed this thing to put them in. So go figure. I found that over in Millington. Oh, here's another um, sticker ephemera pack to go with the other ones. And then um, I have a feeling I've bought this already, but if not, it's fine because I'm a very big Wonder Woman fan and I was happy to see these because they're, you know, the ones from um, Wonder Woman 1984. And um, yeah, I just, I love Wonder Woman. Okay, and then what else we got here? Oh, I picked up this lighter. 
because I'm going to stick it in the little uh, box that I keep all of my wax seals. And I also bought these pins, like I need more pins. Um, these are the ones with the gems on the inside. Now I've picked up several of these before, but um, oh, there we go. They're really, really pretty. So I got those. I know I have some more Dollar Tree stuff. Um, I got more of my favorite Trolley, the Sour Bites. Uh, I'm running out of room here. Um, oh, one more of these. Probably gonna give it to my mom. Um, I've got these baked cheese fries, which are really, really good from Good Earth to snack on. I'm gonna put these here because I don't, hold on. I know I have more. Oh my goodness. Yes, I do. It's ridiculous. Like I said, I went crazy. Look at that. I buy things in, in pairs and I bought, now I have like four packs. Really? <laughs> um, so Dollar Trees have these for a while. Well, not a while, but they've been out, but my Dollar Trees have sold out of them so fast and I wanted to try them. I mean, hey, it's a dollar. So I got these earrings. So I got this one right here, the hoops. Oh, hold on, let me focus. So I got these hoops, they're pretty thin. They're okay, I mean, what, what do you expect? They're a dollar. These are the silver ones. I already, I've already pulled it out of the bag, so that's why it's a little messed up. And then I got these dangled ones um, with the balls. Okay. Uh, what else here? Oh. This is for somebody that likes foxes, Clarissa. Um, I want to be sure yeah I have not <laughs> sometimes it's like you wonder did you already show this in a haul and it's like I try to take everything out of the bag and put it away so that I know that I've already filmed so I got I got to stop more socks so these are by Beverly Hills Polo Club um, I just thought you know they're nice looking this one is funny because it's got sharks and um, then these are are these crew? Yeah, they're crew. I just like the purple. So I got those. Now, I don't know if I'm going to wear all of those socks. I might just give some to my cousins in the Philippines or my nieces. Um, I got this Alka-Seltzer gum. Um, I actually bought one before and I gave it to my coworker because she was complaining about having really bad heartburn one day. And that same day I went to the Dollar Tree and saw this. So I gave it to her, the pack to her the next day and told her, you know, let me know how that, t how that works out. <laughs> Basically she's my guinea pig. And she said it, it worked. It was a, uh, yeah. So, you know, it's not so chalky like the chewable ones. Then I got this. This is another, um, hard candy. I did buy two, but I've already opened one. So this is a primer serum, poor defense primer serum. I've already tried it. It's actually not bad. And this actually works well because it's green, well, tinted green. So it helps with the um, redness in my skin. Um, I might go back and get more if they have more. I'll have to go after lunch. See, look at that. I got the other, well, this one is Munch Rites, uh, cheddar and sour cream baked baked puffs. It's healthier. Okay. Um, oh, another pair of socks from Beverly Hills Polo Club. Um, and then lastly, this is lastly, right? Yeah. So I got this eyeglass cord. Um, but now <laughs> I don't think I need them. So quick story. Um, I went back for my follow-up for my contacts and was complaining to the optometrist that, dude, I can't read anything that's like three feet in front of me, let alone put on my makeup, my eye makeup, because it's just so blurry, but I can see like a hundred feet away from me, like the signs, you know, like 2015 vision. So he adjusted, he basically gave me a different set of contacts um, that have like the multifocal, so now it's probably not 2015 vision. It's probably, eh, probably 2020 in terms of like uh, far sighted distance. But 
I can actually see up close like this right here I'm standing up and I can actually see this without having to wear my um, reader glasses so that's a really great step right there but now I feel like damn I just bought those glasses and I don't really need them so I have a whole week to try these on. I gotta see how it's gonna work because I primarily work in front of the computer. So I have to see if I can still see really well um, with them. And if not, then I'll have to go back to the other um, you know, prescription, which would mean that I would have to wear um, readers again. But you know, it is what it is, old age. It's gonna eventually happen. So especially when you got astigmatism here. Um, I also got, uh, hold on here. Nope. Still, see, there's still some more stuff. I got this, um, first aid kit, which I plan on keeping in my car. So the next time I fall down somewhere, I have this. And now this is not from Dollar Tree. This is actually, sorry, from Kroger. There's a gnat. Um, I found these little waxed um, canvas bags, super cute, right? They were 60 cents. <laughs> so this is what it looks like, the size, sorry. It's actually a pretty decent um, size, you know? You can throw some of this stuff in here. Yeah, like that, okay? So I probably should have bought them all, but nah, it's okay. Two is fine, so I plan on putting those on a shelf. So yeah, I believe that is it. Oh my God, such a big haul. Um, now the problem is, is having to put all this away, <laughs> finding a place to put them away. So anyways, um, like I said, welcome to all of my new uh, subscribers and I hope you enjoyed this massive Dollar Tree haul. Um, have a great week and I will see you on the next haul. Bye-bye.